Can you see me? <laughs> Happy Monday, guys. So this morning was pretty productive. I actually got out of bed at 7.50. So every week I'm moving my time, like I'm making the time earlier that my alarm goes off. And then it's just like the next week, like I'll get up at the time of my previous week alarm. I don't know, it makes sense when I think about it. But anyways, I'm trying to get it to where I wake up at six every day. And so, ah! <laughs> I'm saying sorry, one of my friends got here, but anyways, Woke up at 7.50. My goal is to... Huh? Yeah! At your party. Your graduation party. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So my goal is to start getting up by 6 a.m. So we're almost there. We are almost there. I need to edit a vlog today and get that up. And then I need to, I'm going to like mash drop a bunch of TikToks today because I want to start uploading every night for that day. So that way it's like people can keep up with me. But yeah, we're eating lunch right now for Zoli's. And then my sister's coming to pick us up and we're going to go to Sam's Club. We've never been to the Sam's Club where we live. And so that's what we're going to do. And that's about it. We'll see y'all once we're done eating. Well, we don't fast forward. Yeah, whenever I edit it, it'll fast forward. And you're off my radar now. I've lost you. Telling you that I need you. But you're off my radar now. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold Is it really a bad reception out there? Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I lost you finished his pizza now he's eating my food hungry hungry hippo hungry, hungry. hungry boy hungry boys grow <laughs> hey guys what are we doing you want to tell them what we're doing no we're sitting down waiting for baby blue where are we at discount tire So it was time for a tire rotation, so I brought the car for a tire rotation. Hoping a wheel doesn't fall off this time. Oh my gosh, y'all. I forget, I have not vlogged in so long. I don't even know if I told y'all this summer when the tire fell off my car and we were waiting for it to get fixed. That was fun. But yeah, that's what we're here doing now. And then, like I said, we're meeting my sister at Sam's Club. Dick, what's your cute This is for YouTube, bitch. <laughs> All right, y'all, we came to Sam's Club. We've never been here. So we're gonna go ahead and get the kiddos in something. Bryson, Kingy. I didn't know you, when'd you get your new phone? I've had that, girl, since it came out. Oh, I guess I never paid attention to that. You got a 14. Remember we gift each other the new iPhones every year? For our anniversary, because they come out in October every year. Or the end of September, beginning of I guess I didn't pay attention that you said it was a 14. Yeah. Is that your car, Yes. I was like, long story short, I was like, I'll just say yes. Technically, no. What the <laughs> This is my car. Yes, yes, no. Do you like my yes, sister, no. Tiffin? What? Alright, guys, let's go. Kiddos are in. Boy, I love these cameras. Y'all, look at these mattress prices. Like, why would you go anywhere else? Down the cleaning aisle. We are literally going to walk down every single aisle because, like I said, we've never been here. We ain't got nothing else to do today. That's what we're going to be doing. All right, you guys. Grand total. 
39. All right, you guys, we are back from, from Sam's Club. So I guess I'll show you guys what I got and tell you how much I spent. So organic maple syrup, organic petite carrots. We got some blueberries, avocado. We got some strawberry lemonade. I wanted to try this one because I do not like the one that they have at Costco, so we'll see. Then we got this three pack, three pounds of beef for $15, which is $5, which is not bad for 93.7. Not bad at all. Um, oat milk, this was so good. This was five bucks, five bucks. When usually like the half gallon cartons or the quarters, whatever they are, they're like, I'll show y'all. When I pay almost $4 for just one of those. So I picked that up. Got the, look at how big this creamer is. It's as big as their milk. Seven bucks for that oat creamer. Uh, we got the Febreze car things. These were on sale for I think $5 for all of those. And then paper towels, toilet paper and Swiffer refills paid, it wasn't much, maybe $15 for those, I don't know. And then this is the bread that I love. Walmart is always out of stock of it and it's like $3 a loaf and I got both loaves for five bucks. Got some Rotel, I use a lot of Rotel. Don't ask me why, I love Rotel. Got those Karma Waters, if you're on TikTok, you know, if you know, you know, it's one of them things. Protein shakes for Brian. He loves protein shakes. Got um, apple juice. You guys, this big old thing of apple juice, $6. When you pay like 4 to $5 for one thing of apple juice at Walmart or wherever. Got some OxyClean. Um, I actually ran out of those today. Or no, I ran out of my scent beads. Where's my scent beads? And we got, I was just going to get black grapes, but these were cheaper, so I got the Candy Dreams grapes. And then, like I said, I did go ahead and get scent beads, and I'm going to let my puppy in. Now that the boys are taking a nap, it's time that he gets to come inside, so let me let him in. Come on. Come on. You need a bath. Maybe I'll bathe you today. Yeah, you're going to get a bath today. You are dirty. You were digging today, weren't you? Nope. Calm down. All right, guys. I'm going to get this all put up, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help. It. all right you guys that is it for the groceries i'm about to bathe optimus because he's about to start being more of an inside dog now he's finally gotten like what get off means because i was like get off the couch get off the furniture so now he knows what get off means and he's calm around the boys uh-oh uh-oh just made a mess optimus eat it so yeah i'm about to bathe him and then i'm gonna do a stretch video and rest look how murky that water got gross you guys optimus did such a good job at taking a bath huh yes you did you did so good i don't have any snacks you already got a treat down uh -uh. down optimus sit sit thank you thank you Good morning, everyone. I know I look rough. Today is Tuesday, the 17th. I just finished making the boys breakfast. Well, not quite yet. 
So I gotta put some whipped cream on their strawberries and then give them their vitamins. So yeah. And then I need to take my vitamins and my other care of vitamins have not came in. So all I've been taking is my collagen and my hormonal balance one. So I think that one's empty. So yeah, that is where we are at for the day. I'm about to FaceTime Raquel. And we are gonna do our makeup together on the phone. So I will see you guys once I'm ready and probably right before we start homeschool. So now I'll see y'all. All right, you guys, school is done. It is 11 o'clock. It's time to start giving the boys some lunch. Uh, oh, you know what? We have the from dinner, so. They're going to have chicken and green beans, and I told them I would make them some mac and cheese today. So, mac and cheese with our leftover chicken and green beans. All right, you guys, lunch is ready. I just finished making their lunch. So what I'm gonna do, because we only had three chickens less from, left from last night's dinner, so that's the boys. I'm gonna take these green beans and I'm gonna make me some ramen and stick the green beans in the ramen with some kimchi. Because I just haven't really been feeling meat that much lately. Like, I just haven't. So not sure what's going on with that. I think maybe my body's used to like every year in January, like not eating meat. I don't know if my body's just trained to that. And so I do, while I do eat a little bit of meat, my body has just not been feeling like eating meat. So that's gonna be my lunch. Lunch is ramen, green beans, and kimchi. So I'm gonna get these boys fed. Optimus, I don't have nothing for you. So I'm gonna get these boys fed right now. All right, Damn. you guys, I just finished up my read and write the word. So now I'm gonna eat my lunch. And I did go ahead and fill up my water bottle because yesterday I did not have this with me and I did not drink water like I was supposed to. And then again, I made me my ramen with my green beans. Gonna be delicious. What's up? Yeah, mommy this is good news. What? Bryce is at a cartwheel. Really? Show me. Oh, again. <laughs> Do it, Bryce, and go. Woohoo! Woo! I'm about to eat this lunch because we have to take a surprise trip to go get Ethan's glasses fixed. I don't know if y'all noticed, but he don't have on glasses right now. So I'm gonna eat my lunch, watch a little bit of TV, and then we're gonna go get those glasses fixed. All right, you guys, so we just left the eyeglass store where I got Ethan's glasses. His frame was out of stock, so I'm gonna, ha they had to order it. So it's gonna be a few days to a couple weeks before they're able to fix them. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're about to run to Target now because we got a few groceries to get that I didn't get from Sam's Club. And that's about it. Ethan, get your brother out. Okay. We unbuckle King. All right, you guys, we made it to Target. My sister FaceTimed me right whenever I stopped talking to y'all. So we FaceTimed the entire time. We FaceTimed the entire time that I was driving to Target from the eyeglass store so now it is time to go into target y'all come over here and i'll show you guys what we get all right you guys i think we did it got quite a few things for breakfast hopefully it'll last us a month hopefully and then i got everything that was on sale clipped some target coupons and did some i bought stuff so we shall see but i don't think I actually don't think that I ended up using anything that I saved on Ibotta just because these, these cups, these organic cups are on sale for $1.25 and then the ones that I saved from Quaker were a dollar, a dollar something. Oh, but it would have been cheaper because I would have got cash back on Ibotta. You know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, but I'm saving 14 bucks because I have $7 left on a coupon and then I have $7 in Target rewards. So actually I'll be saving more like 15 bucks today. So, all right. Sit down, sit down. How are you? How are you? How are you? All 
right, you guys. So let's go over a little grocery haul of what we got at Target. Cane sugar, organic, because I couldn't find like something that was affordable and not cane sugar. Okay, so tortillas for tonight's dinner. Peanut butter, got all these oatmeal so a Brian can grab and go for work. Enchilada sauce for tonight's dinner. Also, these are really good too. Brian does not eat pork, so it's really hard to find egg bites that are affordable that have no pork in them. And so these are the best that we do and each one of these is four dollars and i know you can get them cheaper at costco but i was not at costco and we needed them like today okay got some of this dog food for little optimus prime optimus prime okay and then i got these for brian so i got him two packs of these ones because target had these 20 percent off each as well as they were on sale for 6.49 so got these ones for brian he like he really likes these these um egg witches and then i got these for me maybe they'll help me start eating breakfast the croissants with turkey sausage again we don't eat pork so i'm glad that these ones are chicken sausage because i forgot to check what kind of sausage those were i got lucky okay for the boys this is their cereal that they eat every day once a week i'll allow them like apple jacks or fruit loops but it's never on a day that we have school or that we have important things to do so usually they get it on a friday or a saturday not this but Fruit Loops, Apple Jacks, things like that. They usually get that on a Friday or Saturday where we don't need them to sit down, focus, and calm down. Yeah, so they get those kind of cereal once a week. Uh, the rest of the week, if they want cereal, they get these organic ones. And Honey Nut Hoops. Okay, and then I did get these for the boys. I know that these are pork. We're not as strict, too strict with the boys. We're going to let them make that, that decision for themselves. We teach them why we don't eat pork. Um, and again, these are just something quick that I could possibly make for the boys. Um, they've been loving oatmeal. Target has these ones, and these are probably their two flavors. Their favorite flavors are the confetti cake and um, maple brown sugar. And then I did find these waffles too. They love my boys love waffles. So I got four boxes of these because at Target these are only a dollar ninety nine. You know how hard it is to find waffles that are less than like three dollars a box. It's hard and. With us not getting food stamps and be having one income, I have decided to give and take when it comes to my grocery shopping. So as you can see, this oatmeal was affordable to be organic, a dollar ninety nine, good, uh, or two ninety nine, not bad. These were a dollar ninety nine. If I got anything organic, I was going to be paying over five dollars a box for those. So like I said, I'm just giving and taking. These were actually on sale for two ninety nine today. All the boy cereals. So I was really excited about that. And so like I said, oh, and these were on sale. Four, four, five, two. So I got really lucky and I told Brian the only things that I'm going to be buying organic is if I catch them on sale or if it's at a reasonable price. So, I mean, this is two pounds of sugar. I paid three bucks for it for it to be organic. I'm not, a, I'm not too mad about it. And so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put up and then get dressed for the gym because Brian is going to be home soon and then we are heading out. So I love you guys. Oh, and all of this was only $80. I paid $80 for it. So not too shabby. All right, y'all, we are at the gym. I mean, whatever, whatever this is, because we got here, everything was super packed. Like, like, literally every treadmill was taken up. They're starting to empty out now. But I told Brian, like, I might just start coming at seven because it calms down at seven. It's so crazy, I'm doing my 10 minutes of cardio. And I'm going to see if I can find some weights or something because the girl got some more toning up to do. Man, I'm trying really hard not to get like impatient because like where the location of our gym is, like there's another one that's supposed to be open like a couple of miles away. A few miles, about four miles away, two miles away, four miles away. And I'm hoping once that one opens up, all the college kids will go to that one instead of coming to our location. Because our location is one of the closest ones to the college kids. So, hoping once that other location opens up, ours won't be so dang bad. But, man, I'm going to try Like, I pray everybody sticks with it. But, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know, I'm not a people person. I don't like being around people. I am like talking to people, which is weird. So I don't mind talking to you guys, but I guess because it's not in person. But yeah. Looking like I got five more minutes left. 
And then I'm gonna go find some weights. I, I think, but or uneducated on what really that deal was. Right, okay. You know, so my big thing was, I'm gonna let you know straight up. Right. We giving out 360s. Okay. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna do the same thing, but I'm. All right, you guys, it is 1030. I just finished stretching, so I'm about to call it a night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning. Good morning, guys. Man, I be looking rough in the morning. <laughs> I'm finishing up my morning chores. I should be done in 15 minutes, which would put us done right a little bit after nine. I've been up since eight. So yesterday, what I was trying to explain to you guys is that every week i've been setting my alarm earlier and earlier so whenever everything first happened with my dad it was really hard for me to get out of bed so i started setting an alarm every day so that way i could like get my routine done and try to find a groove again just so that way the desire to lay in the bed wasn't stronger than my desire to get up and be the best that i could be for my boys so um what i started doing maybe on the week of let me go look at the calendar real quick. So maybe literally like the first week of January, I started setting my alarm. So first I started it at nine and started getting up at 9.30 because before January started, I was sleeping until 11, 12, making the boys lay down with me, not getting out of bed like all day. And then like just cleaning the house right before Brian got home. F felt very similar to the very beginning of our marriage and I didn't like that. So I was like, okay, something's got to change. So I started setting my alarm at nine started getting up at 9 30 and then I started then the next week which was last week the ninth the week of the ninth I started I set my alarm for eight and I was waking up anywhere from 8 15 to 8 30 and so this week I set my alarm for 7 30 and now I'm waking up between 7 45 and 8 o'clock and so I'm getting a lot more done and my goal is by the end of this month beginning of February is to be waking up between 6 30 and 7 I don't know. That's just my goal. So that way I could get more done with my day and have more quiet time to myself. So right now I'm training the boys that, hey, even if you wake up, get up, brush your teeth, use the bathroom, but go lay back down until I come get you just because I really need that quiet time before they get up just to, because I like to pray as I do my chores and things like that. And so that's just something that I need. And so far my boys have been respecting it and I love it. So Anyways, let me go ahead and get back to this vacuuming and yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> guys so vacuuming is done and like I said it took me about 15 minutes so now I'm gonna go ahead and empty the dishwasher put up the dishes and I'm gonna start get the boys breakfast and then I'll start getting ready you guys I am dressed and ready for the day a little OOTD sweater capris I'm gonna wear my band and then I got my little rope necklace from Marshalls and my little Kate Spade earrings now I gotta get the boys breakfast so that's what I'm gonna do what we do is what we do I can take you anywhere somewhere we won't be scared. You will see me flying high. I'm staring into your blue eyes. We don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. Okay, 
time for me to eat my vitamins and then I'm gonna sit down and do my reading, write the word, and then I'm gonna sit down with the boys and do school. And so I'll see you guys once our day really starts rolling. All right, you guys, we finished homeschool within an hour. Now we are with my mom. And we are, ooh, we're having lunch at this new buffet that opened up. So we have this little chain in Lubbock called Hayashi. And usually it's like hibachi and like, you know, like you sit down and you wait to eat. And it is my favorite, my favorite Asian food place. Well, they opened up a buffet in this old building. But I'm so excited to try it because I love Hayashi. And if I could get Hayashi, oops. And if I could get Hayashi buffet style, mm, and handicap. Boys got their dessert plates. So Ethan had jello and the cake. Ethan had one of these cakes and that green jello. So good. I'm really shocked at how good this is. And it looks very sanitary. I keep seeing them like go and clean things. And the bathrooms are clean. That's always a telltale sign. But even the bathrooms are clean, so I trust it. <laughs> All right, you guys, lunch was delicious. Now we're at Second Charles. Um, I told Ethan the other day we could come on Wednesday to buy some books. Because if you didn't know Second Charles clearance section on Wednesdays, their books are a dollar. So that is what we're doing. All right, you guys, so this is why I like Second Charles, because this is their clearance section. And literally you can find books for a dollar. I even found one for Ethan that teaches like what to do in, like, in case of a fire for 60 cents. So he's getting a book on gardens. That was a dollar. And then he's getting the book about what to do in a fire on that one. So, so far a dollar 60. Um, yeah. So this is one thing that I will always thrift is books because kid, they're young for one and they don't know how to take care of books. And two, like I just, yeah. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Let's see if I can hula hoop. <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> How did I used to do this as a kid? I liked the heavier ones for one. No! Because the heavier are easier to keep on your hip. Yup. That's hard. I don't know how we used to do that. Is this one heavier? Oh, that one's kind Anyways, you do that and they keep going around your body. Usually. <laughs> Usually. I could do it with my arm. Yeah. A circus. Don't hurt me. Circus. Circus. A circus? That's circus. what you would Circus. 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 Mom's putting these up. <laughs> hey, Mom, Bryson was laughing and pointing at you. It's okay. It was funny. Ooh. All right, you guys. We are home. I'm about to change and rest. And let me show you what books I got. So my mama bought me this um, 
journal. I love journals. I journal all the time. And then I bought, you can wait. I bought two of each book. This one's called Taking Eve. And then this one is A Love of My Own. And so I'm going to mail these to my sister Destiny that moved to Arkansas. And we're going to do like a little virtual little book club. So yeah, that's what I did. But I'm about to rest, y'all. So I might forget to vlog for the rest of the day, but I'm about to rest. So if you don't see me again, I'll see y'all in the morning. Hey guys, it is Thursday. So pretty much I woke up at whew, I woke up at 6:45 this morning. I really think this next coming week my alarm will be set at 7. Damn, let this dog in. Bryson. Like I was saying, it is Thursday. Got up at 6.45. I am definitely feeling it. I'm tired. I feel exhausted. But I also know that I have a ton of things to do. Brian and I recorded our first episode for our podcast. So I got to listen to how that audio came out. Because I don't think it came out very good. But we'll see. I'm going to edit that. I still need to edit my vlog from last week. And I Uber Ubered this morning. The deliveries. I don't, I don't give people rides. That just don't sit right with my soul letting strangers into my car sitting behind me and they can strangle me stab me anything and I wouldn't know so that don't sit right with me um see so I did some uber eats deliveries this morning from eight to about one made about 70 bucks so it's not bad just it's annoying because I could make that working a nine to five and usually I like to do uber because I'm usually making like 20 to 20 20 to 30 dollars an hour but it's all right you have good days you have bad days and i've never ubered on a monday afternoon i mean a thursday afternoon anyway so didn't know what to expect but yeah so um i have i changed our i changed our bed set um i have the other one in the dryer right now so once that comes out i'm gonna fold that put that up just got the boys lunch did their breakfast did the did the dishes from their breakfast took some meat out for dinner i think i'm just gonna try to make like some kind of lazy nachos i'm not sure uh i would need to go buy like um some shredded lettuce i had a whole oh i need shredded lettuce buttermilk and some shredded cheese and that's it but y'all know grocery store trips these days be feeling like you're spending a million dollars every time you go for the slightest of things so I'm gonna go do that and I think that's pretty much it. I think you guys are all up to date after lunch. It's nap time. I had an appetite. Now I don't have an appetite. I had a breakdown in the kitchen just a minute ago when I was... I decided to pull my sourdough starter back out of the refrigerator because I put it in the refrigerator when my dad passed because I just wasn't taking care of it. So I was like, okay, like, let me pull this out of the refrigerator, see if it's still good and active. And it was, I left it out on the, I took it out and then I fed it and then I left it out for a full 24 hours and it is, and it is active again. So, um, I was stirring it and I was, and I had the thought because every, because every time I would make, um, sourdough bread, I would send a picture to my dad and I would always tell him, I'm going to take you some, I'm going to take you some the next time I make it. And the very last time that I make it, the very last time that I made it, um, I told him I'd for sure bring him some. And so I was stirring the sourdough and I was like, oh, I'm going to take my dad some. Can't. If there's anything this has taught me is do things when you say you're going to do them. Because you just never know. And I miss my sister today. I'm going to go edit and watch some YouTube so I can stop crying. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alright you guys, I know that. Let me get out the car, hold on. Alright you guys, so I know I haven't vlogged, I didn't vlog at all yesterday guys. I've been in a funk since Thursday since I told y'all. Today's Saturday, so I vlog. I did TikTok vlog, so if you guys really want to see like what I'm doing every single day, because I forget to vlog for YouTube, and it's a lot easier to take like a little five second clip on TikTok. So follow me on TikTok if you want to see more of what we're doing. Right now, we're reading, meeting my sister and brother in law here at like the best pizza place in Lubbock. They also have the best wings, so we are about to go in here and do that.
all right you guys good night i love you guys and i will see you guys next week in next week's vlog i'm gonna try to get last week's vlog and this week's vlog up hopefully by monday the 23rd and tuesday the 24th we'll see uh, that's what i'm aiming for <laughs>